Hi, I'm Tom Ruiz. I'm a math supervisor. Today we're going to discuss how to set up the direct use of the square root property. Now sometimes our equations are set up in a way that we already have direct use of the square root property able to be uh, a a able to go, ready, ready for our use. So p minus 2 squared equals 16. In this case, the direct use is set up for us because we have a perfect square on this side and we have a perfect square on this side. So what you do is you take the square root of both sides of the equation. p minus 2 squared, how do we get that? Uh, what times itself gives us p minus 2 squared? Just p minus 2. That's going to equal what times itself gives us 16? 4. Now we can solve the rest of the problem by using inverse operations. Add 2 on both sides and p equals 6 in this case. However, sometimes we need to set up direct use of the square root property. Um, sometimes it's not ready for immediate use. This is one of those cases. In this case, we have a perfect square here, but we have this extra minus 1 piece here. That means we are not ready to do the square root property yet. In order for us to be able to do this, we have to get this minus 1 onto the other side away from this perfect square. By doing that, inverse operation, we add 1 on both sides of our equation, and we are left with 5m plus 1 squared equals 9. Now, we have a perfect square on our left, we have a perfect square on our right, and we are ready for the square root property. I'm Tom Ruiz. You do the math.